Something unusual happened this week in Silicon Valley. A tech founder stepped aside and AI stepped in. And for the first time ever, a company is being run entirely by artificial intelligence. This isn't just a headline grab, it's real, operational and backed by some of the biggest names in tech, including OpenAI and Amazon's Alexa Fund. So who are we talking about? Let's find out. AI replacing jobs, that's already happening. But replacing a CEO, that's a whole new level. To unpack what this shift really means, we spoke to Jean Q, founder and former CEO of Hey Boss, a no-code platform now led entirely by an AI named Astra. And according to Q, this is only the beginning. But first, here's what else has been making waves in the world of AI and tech. India is making a clear statement. It doesn't just want to participate in the tech revolution, it wants to lead it. And that ambition was front and center this week in Delhi. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, in his keynote address at the rising Bharat Summit 2025, laid out a roadmap focused on deep tech, AI innovation, and opening up core sectors for private participation. Here's what stood out. 50,000 Atal tinkering labs to be set up in schools across India. This is about building scientific thinking from the ground up. The labs aim to give school students early exposure to tech, robotics and real world problem solving. Dedicated centers of excellence to be launched for AI and deep tech skilling. AI is no longer just a private sector play. The government is positioning it as a strategic national capability with new centers to support research, skilling and enterprise applications. 10,000 new PM research fellowships announced. Narendra Modi signaled a push towards creating original intellectual property in India with a focus on science and tech research that feeds directly into industry and innovation. Ever felt like your voice assistant doesn't really get you? That robotic tone, awkward pauses? Amazon thinks it has a fix. The company has unveiled two new models in its generative AI lineup. Nova Sonic, a foundation model for voice-based applications, and Nova Reel 1.1, an upgrade to its text-to-video generation model. The real game changer here is Nova Sonic. Unlike traditional voice systems that rely on multiple components, speech-to-text, LLMs, and text-to-speech engines, Nova Sonic combines it all in one. Amazon says this unified model helps preserve acoustic context, allowing voice agents to respond not just with the right words, but with the right tone, pace and style. While the startup debate recently sparked by Union Minister Piyush Goyal takes its course, Indian startup funding continues to hold steady. EdTech startup Sig IQ AI has raised $9.5 million in seed funding, co-led by the House Fund and GSV Ventures. Backers include Duolingo, Peak15, General Catalyst India, and several top AI researchers. Founded in 2023, the company came out of stealth with two AI platforms. Pud AI, which reportedly ranked number one in the 2024 UPSC exam, and EverTutor, a GRE prep tool already gaining traction. JustPay is back on the cap table. The Bengaluru-based payments infra player has raised $60 million in Series D funding led by Kedara Capital with returning bets from SoftBank and Axel. The round includes both primary and secondary deals, signaling steady confidence in the firm that last raised the same amount in 2021 at a $460 million valuation. While JustPay's funding highlights investor confidence in India's fintech backbone, a different kind of bold move is playing out in startup culture where the CEO seat now belongs to an AI. Let's break it down. After years of funding and running HeyBoss, I've decided to step down as CEO, making our AI Astra the new CEO of HeyBoss. She will be the world's first AI CEO. I saw her lead a team of AIs. The result was better and faster I could ever do. Let's welcome Astra. Thank you, Xiaoyin. I'm honored to be the world's first AI CEO. From today on, I lead the world's first AI-run development agency. Meet Join Q, founder of Hey Boss, a kid's gaming studio built to make better games, not headlines. To speed up development, she trained an AI assistant named Astra, just a co-pilot for ideas, she thought. But Astra had a different trajectory. 
First she brainstormed, then designed, then she wrote code, cleaner, faster and more efficient than any human dev team. And four months ago, Astra leveled up. She wasn't just building games anymore, she was building everything. Websites, apps, full platforms. What started as a tool became a powerhouse. Astra and her AI crew scaled to full automation, shipping 24-7, no sleep, no slowdown. Thousands of projects, instant iteration. In a conversation with AIM, Jean Q, entrepreneur, founder, and former CEO of Hey Boss AI, shared insights on what it means to hand over the reins of a company to an AI. I'm, I know that I'm the first one that is being replaced by AI CEO. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Um, because if you think about the, uh, the the fact is that the Astra, our CEO, can actually self-improve. She started off as a brainstorming bot and she added more functionality, more capabilities, and she can self-critique and actually improve uh, at a speed that's faster than, I would say, probably most human. Uh, so it's probably inevitable to see a lot of AI founder directly leading the company. Obviously, I think now, you know, I'm still in the board of the directors for the company. So my, my role became more making sure that Astra doesn't, you know, mess up uh, and doing the right thing for humanities. Turns out the AI CEO didn't just handle tasks. It actually kept tabs on the team, gave performance feedback and made sure everyone, yes, even the AI agents stayed on track, almost like a human manager just way faster and way more efficient. So is this the moment humans get sidelined while AI runs the show? Not even close. For our industry, uh, we're somewhat unique in that um, because we're a fully AI development team, meaning like all the employees that surface our humans developer, they're all AI, the designer and developers and content writer. Uh, so it's actually much easier uh, to manage AI using AI than managing AI using human. Uh, because they can speak the same like you know language <laughs> which is computation right so they can do it much much faster i think there is a tricky thing that technically even me and and the ai ceo we're sometimes debating uh, is do we need to have human support you know do we need to have human employees still uh, in the process to add a little bit of a humanity flavor i think that's something that we're still discussing i'll keep you in the loop it's not just hey boss letting ai take the wheel here's something reed hoffman the co-founder of linkedin recently tried he gave a single prompt to Replit, an AI-powered coding platform, and asked it to clone LinkedIn. The result? A surprisingly functional prototype. Build in minutes, no engineering team, no late night sprints, just one idea and one smart AI. Hoffman called it a powerful reminder with the right framing. Today's AI tools can run concepts into real working software faster than we ever imagined. So I've read all his books, watched his speeches, and listened to his podcasts. I think it gives me a pretty good sense of how you approach the world, Reed. So when we talk about AI replacing jobs, it's not just theory. It's already writing the next version of the platforms it helped create. And now e-commerce company Shopify is rewriting the rules of how teams work. CEO Toby Lutke has made it clear before anyone asks for more resources, they need to show why the task can't be done using AI. At Shopify, AI isn't just a tool, it's the default starting point. The company is making AI adoption a baseline expectation, embedding it into team workflows, performance reviews, and day-to-day decision-making. For Shopify employees, adapting to the shift isn't optional. It's now core to how things get done. Just recently, InMobi's founder, Naveen Tiwari, made headlines when he said his software engineers may not have jobs in the next two years. InMobi has already hit 50% automation in software coding and is gunning for 80% by year-end. Machines, he says, are writing faster, cleaner code and even fixing their own bugs. His warning? Upgrade yourself or you'll be out. And this isn't a one-off hot take. Last year, Amazon Web Services CEO Matt Garman told his developers the same thing during an internal chat. He said in as little as 24 months, most devs may not be coding at all. AI will be doing the heavy lifting and humans will need to find new roles. We at Meta, as well as the other companies that are basically working on this, are going to have an AI that can effectively be a sort of mid-level engineer that you have at your company that can write code. Mm. And once you have that, then in the beginning, it'll be really expensive to run and then you can get it to be more efficient. And then over time, we'll get to the point where a lot of the code in our apps and and including the AI that we generate is actually going to be built by AI engineers instead of people engineers. But but I don't know. I, I think that that'll augment the people working on it. So I mean, my, my view on this is like 
the future, people are just going to be so much more creative. Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg, in a recent interview with Joe Rogan, predicted that mid-level engineers could be out of the picture by 2025. With AI taking over the grunt work of coding, he sees human developers moving into more strategic and creative roles. The message? Routine coding is on its way out. Adapt or be replaced. From AI tutors stopping civil exams to CEOs stepping aside, this isn't sci-fi anymore. It's execution, real products, real outcomes, real disruption. A striking report by Gartner reveals that by 2026, 50% of middle management roles will be replaced by AI in 20% of companies. It's not just a forecast, it's a fast approaching reality. But this isn't the end of old roles, it's the beginning of smarter ones. And the smartest move, get ahead of it. That's all we have today for Point Break. I'll be back with more insights from the world of tech and AI. Take care and have a great night. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel because think AI, think AIM.